So that should be good there. Got a new camera for Christmas, so first time taking a record. Got this for audio as well. Testing, testing. All right. So as I was saying, uh, first thing we're doing today is called the Google Places. And what that is, is your spot on the map. So the way Google searches, generally speaking, is it searches the web address, it searches for uh, your location where you're at currently. So if I were to do a search term, it's going to search my area around here first. And then it's going to search some of the text to bring you back results. So one of the first thing it does is take uh, businesses in the area that correspond to your search and list them um, on the website here. So for example, if we did um, real estate. So the, the, to me, the target that you're going for with a lot of the search terms of social media are people that don't know about you. So those are the people that aren't familiar with you already. So if we do, for example, real estate, uh, Salem, Oregon. So that brings up a lot of different, oops, brings up a lot of different listings. Can you go, Ryan, can you go white? There's a little white right around the corner there. So that didn't bring up, because there are so many, it didn't bring up a specific map. Now if we do say, let's try, for instance, yoga. So that brought up uh, Indigo Wellness Center. You see the A there? Mm -hmm. That's that's the result that you want. What? See the what? So I guess this A down here. On map. Oh, okay. Okay, so this A down here, this is a Google place. So this is a business that has been registered with Google, and that is pertains to the results. So it brings it back there. Okay, I didn't know about Indigo. Well, there they are. Okay. Um, so they they give you that spot on the map. And they give you that preference of A versus B or D because of? They do it based on, for instance, reviews. So you have six reviews here. Uh, it's more active. People have talked about it more. People have responded to it more. So it comes up higher in the search results. Also, it may be a little closer than somebody else. So there's a lot of different factors. But that's what we're building and doing today is you want to get your business that place page on the map. So you can start coming up with different search terms and different experiences. So if it gets me up here, so I'll go on and get some... Uh, exactly. Exactly. That is a wonderful, powerful thing to do. What did you say? Once a week we all vote for our friends, basically. Yeah. 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 So if, I can, if you can get me on placement there, then you guys all go in and then I'll go back to you and get me up to the top. Is Correct. that what you did for me when I... Yeah. yeah. So that's what we do for each other. Uh, a lot of people, you know, internally write reviews about people. Like, for instance, uh, I'm the number one, at least I was, hopefully it's, I still am. So if you do, um, say, social media. Uh, silver, oh. You did I did spell that wrong, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Well, this would be an excellent um, task as a networking group, so, wouldn't it? I'm number one. Uh -huh. when, you do, when you do social media, Silverton, Oregon, I come up number one, mm -hmm. Kelt System. That's what I want. Because cool. people don't know about me necessarily, but when they search that term, mm -hmm. it comes up. I'm being number one, that's what most people would select. Exactly. Yeah, I'm spelled right. Yeah, as long as it's spelled right. Is that what you said? Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I'm sure it worked for well. <laughs> oh. I am so sorry. It's okay. I'm number one again for internet marketing in Silverton, Oregon. Mm -hmm. So that's what the kind of stuff and the kind of terms you want to think about for your business mm -hmm. and setting that up. So you saw how Indigo came up for yoga, mm -hmm. for example. So what the first thing you do in setting up an account like that is you've got to create a Google account. Google is pretty much the number one search engine. There are others that are out there and have always been out there. But people still use Google for everything. Have you had one on a personal level already? You can use that, yes. Okay. So if you already have a Google account or, Google, or a Gmail account, it's great. If you don't have one, we can create one. Do you have a Gmail account? I do, but it's under Sandy Manning. Do you feel comfortable sharing that now, or do you want to create? Uh, I think if, if I create one for the business, okay. uh, let's say on Realtors Gmail. We can try and see if that's available? Yeah, okay. That would be okay. So the first thing you do is you're going to Google Home. Uh, this is Safari, so I'm a little slow. Up there. Excuse me. Uh, that's our home page, apparently. 
And if you haven't been there, you should really go. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so, what's the first thing you say? Now? First thing to create an account for Google Places is to go to www.google.com. So there's a couple ways of, of creating an account. To me, the easiest way is to just do a Gmail account because mm -hmm. it basically is tied into everything else. You can, you can do it other ways, but for me, as you go to www.google.com, you know, up here you see the Gmail tab, top of the screen. Mm -hmm. So you click that, comes up with your account, username, and password. Since you don't have one yet, you're going down here to create an account. Are you following? Have you got internet access? No, I'm not following this. Okay. Part. Thank you. So then you simply go down, click create an account. Uh, what do you want the first name to be? Uh, Salem. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. Salem. Then Real Tours. That's uh, your R E A L T O R S. R E A L. R E A L. L T O. T O. R S. Okay. And you want that to be your login name? Yes. And we'll check availability. It's available. Very nice. Hey. Wow. You know, That's, that never happens. <laughs> so we're gonna I'm gonna choose a generic password for you. Okay. I'll do Salem Realtors 01 okay. to start with for the password. And you can change it later. Okay. You want to change it especially for a video now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we'll do S A L E M R E A L T O R S. Now, does it matter if, because you shall do a capital S for Salem and then a capital R for Realtors? Does um, that matter on, on For that? your password? Or for, uh, no, for uh, the name. So the first name and last name is technically supposed to be your real name. Mm -hmm. But Gmail doesn't care. Yeah. So I just did it that way. Okay. So Gmail in general is not case sensitive. Uh, the password would be? Okay. As with the email address. Okay. Okay. And so I always do a capital S because I want the Salem and the Railtorts to stand out. Okay. So I do capital S. Are you talking about for the login name? Or what, uh, yeah. if it's case sensitive, whatever is case sensitive. Okay, so this is case sensitive. Um, so you want the large S and, and the large okay. R. Just so you know, it is difficult when people email you if you're going to use this for anything. Okay. Uh, it's hard to do caps on a lot of the email. Because people don't know to add that cap. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Well, but then I can totally do that. Okay. Well, let's make it easier for the people. Yeah, it's more that. user friendly to have everything lowercase. Okay. Uh, when you're when you're doing an email address. Okay. So if everything's lowercase and somebody does use the uppercase, it's going to bounce. That's my thought. Yep. Okay. Or and vice versa, if they forget to capitalize it, it's going to bounce. Okay. So that's why you do a lowercase. It makes it easier for. It's them. more likely that that's what they'll use. Exactly. Email's not this, that way, though, is it, right? Yeah, it is. This is email. Is really? Yeah, yeah. You're saying it by email. Because yeah. I can do a little or something big, is. and that still goes through. I've always had a bounce for me, but... Oh, really? Okay. Um, That's probably because you have a PC. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to turn the web history and uh, those aspects. I'll set up a uh, security question, best friend, change this later, by the way. Okay. I'm going to say, uh, Mary, it's your best friend from childhood. Recovery email, is there uh, an email address that you want to put in here in case you forget your password or something? Uh, Salem World Tours at Comcast.net. Okay, she's in the United States. Do you feel comfortable with your birthday? <laughs> I don't need to do it. Uh, no, just they didn't want to make sure you're over 18, basically. So you were born 12, 12 of 1980. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 1980s. Yeah. We knew she heard it. really well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is uh, this is what they call a captcha. Basically, make sure you're not an automated <clears throat> computer. So they put this little thing you can't really read. Yeah, I they make them easier to read. L I N G L. Yeah. Y S T O R. I think. Huh. That other one could be an L or a T, I'm not really sure yet. Or an H with a long. Yeah. Yeah, that could be an H G O G. Smack Some of them will let you ask for a second one if you can't yeah. get the first yeah. one. Okay. Keep jumping around on me. Yeah, 
I accept, create my account, as long as I spelled that right. There we go. So it gives you an introduction page. Uh, you know, I already skip it, but you can always take a tour of Gmail. <coughs> Excuse me. So this aspect here is now your Gmail account. We have just created an email account for you for free on Google. So from here, we would want to you have tab browsing on Safari. There we go. Figured it out. So we're we're now signed in to Gmail, and that's our account that we've created and signed into. Now I like to do tabs, which I'll show you what that means in a second. So right now this tab here is Salem Realtors and the Gmail account. Okay, so I can jump back and forth and work out of both tabs very easily. And all you did was go up to the That's the plus sign. And plus oh okay. So generally you'll have this on Firefox, you have this on Internet Explorer. You have a little plus sign, and that's a, called tab browsing. So instead of opening a whole new window that you have to jump back and forth, you can just jump back and forth on these tabs. So can I ask a question? Because you know we did that. That plus it stores them, or do we have you know? Doesn't just, store them. Um, just you can go up to favorites and history and all of that to store the the web page that you're on. Okay. So this is just a separate tab. This is just a, this is a function of your browser, and it makes it easy to jump back and forth when you're doing social media or doing a lot of information. So right now I'm back in Gmail, and I know that I'm logged in by this up here. So Salem Realtors at gmail.com. I know that I'm logged in. That's when you'll go to Google Places, and you can do that simply by typing it in. It is the first result that comes in. Generally speaking, Google Places Business. Okay. Clicking on Google Places Business, um, it says claim your business listing on Google, it's free. And this is how we're starting to create that A, that B, that map. Ask you for your password again, which is Salem, Salem Real Tours zero, 01. Claim your business listing. We go over to the link, list your business. And the first thing you do is enter the phone number. What's your, ideally it's not the Prudential office, ideally it's your personal business number. Okay, 503. 503. It likes to use parentheses first and then a space. 371. 371. So this is if it's if Google has created a place for you, this is gonna find it. If it hasn't, it's gonna tell you not found. And so, it'll probably say not found because exactly. It's a, so no address is found for your business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have a Google Place, mm -hmm. so you haven't been showing up on the map and you're utilizing it. Mm -hmm. But the big Prudential office has. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna create a, basically a separate listing. Uh, what's what's your say business organization name? Uh, it is Prudential. Okay, could you do, could you do, uh, Sandy Manning, uh, Prudential oh. Realtor, or just Realtor? No, how we do, uh, how we, which is Mike Sandy and Scott Manning, Prudential Real Estate Professionals. Okay, so we got Mike. Mike. And then Sandy with a Y. And then, uh, ampersand for the and, uh, and facing on Scott. And space and then manning. Now, do you have a. a, 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 is, there a is there a comma after the Sandy? Yeah. Yes. I don't need that. Yeah, 